Filmed Festival Prize Giving. My name is Jan Hendrik Opperman, and this is my beautiful co presenter, Louisa. Louisa, you look very pretty. Mooi en rooi getooi, hoor. Thanks. I think I find, kind of feel like the Filmed logo, just like press play. Ooh. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, say. But Ooh. before we start talking about the prizes, let's talk about the story behind the Filmed Short Film Competition for high school learners. We started this competition in 2021 because of COVID-19. With a ban on theater performances and the immense growth of the world of media out there, we were looking for a platform where young people could tell their stories and make their voices heard in this beautiful country of ours. And with that, the filming competition was born. Due to the success of this competition, and the growing support of corporates with a like-minded vision, thank you very much, we're able to stand here for the third annual Filmit Festival Gala yeah. Evening. Let's well, give a round of applause. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, as your trusty master of ceremonies, I'm here to spotlight the five essential life skills that the art of filmmaking can help you develop. It's not just to make it about making film for our youth, but also about learning very important skills, which takes them further in life. And um, let's go, lights, camera, action. Number one, creativity. Filmmaking is a canvas for your imagination, young people. It encourages you to think outside the box, come up with innovative ideas and craft compelling stories. Creativity is not limited to the world of cinema. It's a vital skill for problem solving in everyday life. Number two, communication. Effective communication is at the heart of filmmaking. You must convey your vision to a team. Collaborate, share ideas. And this skill extends to daily life and in corporate entities, where clear communication is key in personal relationships and professional endeavors. Number three, teamwork. Filmmaking is a collaborative effort mm. that teaches you how to work harmoniously in a team. Learning to value others' contributions, compromise, and delegate responsibilities are skills that are invaluable in any group project, whether at work or within a community. Number four, time management. The film industry is notorious for its tight schedules and deadlines. Learning to manage your time effectively, prioritize tasks, and work under pressure are skills that have broader applications in time-sensitive situations at work, but also in your personal life. And number five, my favorite, problem solving. Filmmaking is riddled with unexpected challenges. Klein jakkelsies kruip altijd in. From equipment malfunctions to weather disruptions, it teaches you to think on your feet and um, adapt to changes and find creative solutions. Life is also full of unexpected problems, and these skills will help you tackle them with confidence. So my friends, whether you're a budding filmmaker or simply interested in the magic of the movies, remember that the skills honed in this <coughs> world can illuminate your path in the grand production of life itself. One can never underestimate the power of storytelling for social cohesion. If you hear someone's story, you can put yourself in their shoes. And that promotes understanding and empathy across all walks of life. So film is a way of telling stories, building bridges of understanding and respect. Absolutely, Louisa. The Film and Competition cash prizes and trophies for 2023 are sponsored by Clem and Gold. Thank you so much. Thank you for supporting the Film and Festival for the third year in a row. It's so important for corporate entities to invest in the arts, and not just the arts, but also into our, into our youth, because they are our future. And Thank that, you for, sorry, we wouldn't do any of this without them. Let, round of applause. <laughs> and with that, a very warm welcome to Representative Charlene McKenzie from Klemgold, who is with us this evening. Thank you so much. 
We'd also like to thank our supporting sponsors, Alex Russell, Orms Direct, you saw them in the foyer this evening, Seth McKinnon of the SA Institute South Africa, also here, and a special friend of the Film, film It Festival, Festival, actor Dion Lotz. Dion, if you want to stand, then just wave and show us there. <clears throat> and he will also be joining us on stage in a while. Another welcome to one of our festival, judge, uh, fest festival judges, Kubis van der Berg, um, from Carpland Films. And our other judges, unfortunately, couldn't be here due to filming schedules, which is kind of part of the industry that we're in. So welcome to everyone, and thank you so much for your valuable time. Thank you so much. It was truly really heartwarming to witness the enthusiasm of the young individuals as they shared their stories this year. And their creativity with limited resources is truly astounding. We were overwhelmed at the response of industry professionals to present their knowledge and expertise at our film and shop talk sessions at the St. Worcester Arts Festival. Young filmmakers could learn from real producers, actors, directors, and all people involved in the industry. We cannot thank you all enough. Thank you so much. Tonight, we are here to give recognitions to the winners of this festival, great prizes at stake, a total of 4,500 4, rand sponsored by our main sponsor, Clement Gold. But before we kick off the prizes, just a mention of our amazing judges this year. All initial pitch entries were evaluated by producer Al Wisteisen from Idea Candy. Thank you for selecting our film at finalists. This year, there were fewer than last year, and we scrutinized every single pitch. In 2023, we had entries from all over South Africa, including one from Zimbabwe and including one from Namibia. So we are going across the borders now. Absolutely. This year, we involved a whole new range of specialists in our panel of judges for the final round of the competitions. Thank you to all the judges for working through all the final entries, even from overseas. Thank you, Quibus. Mm -hmm. And carefully considering each film, with the quality of films increasing, increasing every single year, we know it is a challenging task. Our panel of judges were award-winning director, screenwriter, playwright, Niku Skippert, TV presenter, producer, director, Kabaus Meiring, and film and television producer, Gubis van der Berg. Thank you all for your time. The most valuable currency of all. And now, for the prizes. For each category, we will announce the names of the nominees in no specific order. Thereafter, the winner of the category will be announced. The winner or representative must then please make their way to the stage to receive their trophy from this side. Thank you very much. Um, first of all, we'd just like to welcome our trophy handing over person, our trophy <laughs> uh, Mr. Dion Lutz, thank you so much for joining us. Um, if you love South African film and TV and stage, you have seen Dion all over. Um, Nelson Mandela, A Long Walk to Freedom, Invictus. He has been all over everywhere. Okay, let's get the show on the road. The first prize up for grabs is in the category for best graphic design for the movie poster design. The nominees in this category were as follows. A Scoop with Death, Clifton High School. Keys Aren't Just Black and White, Paul Boys High. Social Species, Jan van Riebeek High School. And the winner is Scoop with Death. Jake Savage, Clifton High School. Thank you so much. Jake wins a 750 Rand cash prize uh, for his design, which really communicated the story that they were telling on film. The next prize is for best. Wardrobe. Nominees 
A scoop of death, Clifton High School. Modus operandi, Kalahari High School. And say cheese, Paul Boys High. And the winner is... Say cheese, Vian van der Pfeiffer and David Ullefser. Paul Boys High. Listen here, I don't know what the Oscars feel like, but I think this is pretty close. Those smiles, wow, that's amazing. Bian and David receive a 500 cash prize and a side visit to the St. Wester Set and a wardrobe department at Atlantic Studios in Cape Town. Congratulations, that's fantastic. Next up is the award for best production design. The nominees in this category, Scoop of Death, Clifton High School. Say cheese, Paul Boys, on Snap, Weird Macy School, Blumhoff. And the winner, say cheese! <laughs> David Ulofsen, Paul Boys High School. David wins 750 Rand cash prize and an on set experience at an upcoming, sh up upcoming shoot, which we will tell you more about. We'll be in contact with you, David. The next prize, one of my favorites, are special effects. Now, special effects is not just about um, blood and explosions, but also the way you use your camera to create special effects. The nominees in this category Scoop of Death, Clifton High School. Alone, Clifton High School, say cheese, Paul Boys I. And the winner is Alone, Zavar Said from Clifton High School. Wonderful. Zavar wins the 750 Rand cash prize, and we are excited to announce that Zavar will have the opportunity to visit one of Durban's renowned VFX studios to see how things are done post production. Congratulations. So, the next prize is for best music editor. Of course, the music use tells a story as much as the visuals. The nominees in this category were as follows. Alone, Clifton High School, on Snap, Word Macy School Blumhoff, and Say Cheese, Paul Boys High. We will so show some clips of these winners as well. And the winner is Say Cheese, Vianne van der Pfeiffer and David Ulofsen, <laughs> Paul Boys High. Vian and David wins a collective 1,000 Rand cash prize, and they will have the opportunity to enjoy an online or in-person session with a local music editor. Congratulations. The next prize up for grabs is in the category of Best Original Score. The nominees are A Scoop with Death, Clifton High School, Geschiedenis, Paul Roos Gymnasium. Modus operandi, Kalahari High School. 
And the winner is? A scoop with death. Jake Savage, Clifton High School. Fifty rand cash prize. You'll also have the wonderful opportunity of an online meeting with a renowned film score composer and musician who is happy to share some insight into the creation of musical scores within the South African context. Next up, best original song in a music video. Now, before you, when I announce a winner, I would just like you to be quiet for a little while and just listen to the amazing original song. The nominees in this category were as follows. Deep Water by Wooster Gymnasium and Mad at Time, Jan van Riebeek High School. <laughs> amper, amper. And the winner is Mad at Time, Amran Bester, Jan van Riebeek High School. Just have a listen to this. Amaran wins 750 Rand cash, nice before Christmas, <laughs> and he will also receive an opportunity to have an online or in-person songwriting session with a Cape Town-based songwriter. <laughs> that song made me cry when I heard it for the first time. The next prize up for grabs is in the category for Best Cinematography in a short film. Now this is where the language of camera comes into play. The nominees. A Scoop with Death, Clifton High School. On Snap, Where My See School, Blumhoff. Say Cheese, Paul Boys High. And the winner is a scoop with death, Jake Savage, Christian Bunyan, Clifton High School. not just about the script, but it's also about the visuals that you create, because that tells a story as well. Well done, guys. Now, this year we also have a best cinematography in a documentary film, which is a different language that the camera needs to tell. The nominees in this category were as follows. Alone, Clifton High School. Happiness, Charlie Hofmeyer High School. And keys aren't just black and white, Paul Boy's eye. 
And the winner for Best Cinematography in a Documentary Film, alone, Zavar Said, Clifton High School. Now, once all the fun is had and you've shot the film, it goes to the editor, who has to sit for it for weeks and days and months, <laughs> and in the professional world, maybe even years. And the best editor in a short film category, the nominees, A Scoop of Death, Clifton High School, Say Cheese, Paul Boys High School, and On Snap, Word Macy School, Blumhoff. The winner, say cheese, Joan Roberts and Charles Dienkamp, <laughs> Paul Boys High. They win a collective 1,000 grand cash prize and Filmit will set up an editing shadowing session with an editor for those two young editors. The next best editor in a documentary film, nominees, alone, Clifton High School, Happiness, Charlie Hofmeyer High School, and Keys Aren't Just Black and White, Paul Boy's Eye. The winner is... Keys aren't just black and white. Prevard Borman, Paul Boys High School. My boy, I know professional people who would look at that piano edit you did and would go, wow, that is amazing. Well done. Well done to you. Brevard wins 750 Rand cash prize. He too will have the opportunity to learn from a local editor alongside our two other editing winners. The next prize is for best screenwriter. Now, the nominees in this category is A Scoop with Death. Clifton High School, Muras Operandi, Kalahari High School, and Social Species, Jan van Riebeek High School. And the winner is Social Species. <laughs> Louis Bueta, Jan van Riebeek High School. Is 
Louis wins the 750 Rand cash prize. Louis will also have the opportunity to meet and learn from a local screenwriter and enjoy a one-on-one -on -one mentorship, Louis. Um, just for your information, this is Louis' second year and he just told me that he's entering next year as well. Thank you. Now, within this category, we would like to announce a special jury award. Our judges decided that they would like to award one screenwriter for his creativity. This screenwriter proved that a script does not always have to include dialogue and that the art of storytelling in filmmaking can rely solely on visuals and sound. We would like to congratulate David Olufsen with his screenplay, Say Cheese. Please join us on stage. Isn't it wonderful that a picture also tells a thousand words? The next prize up for grabs is for best director. This is the person that brings everything together, the visuals in conjunction with the cinematographer, and has to get the performances out of the actors. A Scoop of Death is our first nominee. Then. Say Cheese, Paul Boys High, Social Species, Jan van Riebeek High School. Keys aren't just black and white, Paul Boys High. And the prize for Best Director for Film at 2023 goes to Social Species, Louis Brota, Jan van Riebeek High School. directed that actor to run that way and he was just not just acting the way he does every day. <laughs> it took them five takes. Great. If you don't get it right the first time, do it again. <laughs> Good. Okay. Um, Louis, you win a 750 Rand uh, cash prize and you will have a shadowing experience with a director, a local director here from Cape Town. Now, Sometimes a group of actors work so well together, it is hard to imagine the story without any one of them. This is when they, as a group, make the story believable and special. And that is why we felt that we had to have a category for Best Ensemble. The nominees for Best Ensemble is Geschiedenis, Paul Ruiz Gymnasium. Say cheese. Paul Boys High, and Social Species, Jan van Riebeek High School. And the winner is, Say Cheese, Paul Boys High School. Everybody together in the center stage. Skyfen, Skyfen, Skyfen.
You guys win a 2,000 Rand cash prize. Some pizza, hey. You'll also get a acting coaching session with a well-known stage and TV film actor to be, be communicated with you um, in the new year. And now for the actor categories. Just before that, great energy audience. Let's give yourself a great round of applause. Of course, no film is done until it is seen by the audience. So thank you so much for your support of Filmit. Keep on renting local music, movies and keep on supporting our industry. Now, there are four separate prizes for actors, namely Best Supporting Actress, Best Supporting Actor, and Best Actor and Best Actress. And ons the lekker verrassing for you. Is now a yardlikse instelling. All these young actors will have the opportunity to make an appearance in the series Sight Twister. <laughs> so with all the other characters from Reiterbosch that by Atlantic Studios on a professional set, this now must be lekker, ne? For 2024. Baie, baie dankie aan Suid-Ooster vir die ongelooflike geleentheid. Now, the next prize is the best supporting actor. The nominees in this category were as follows. Geschiedenis, Daniel Prinsloo, Paul Roos Gymnasium. Geschiedenis, Ruben de Witt, Paul Roos Gymnasium. Social Species, Nico Bootes, Jan van Riebeek High School. And the winner is... Geschiedenis, Ruben de Witt, Paul Roos Gymnasium. You win a 750 Rand cash prize and you will have a one-on-one -on -one acting session with a stage TV and film actor. Congratulations. The next prize, Best Supporting Actress. The nominees in this category were as follows. Muras Operandi, Marli Kotze, Kalahari High School. Und Snap, Mika Snyman, Wur, Maisi School, Blumhoff. And the winner is Modus operandi, Marli Kotze, Kalahari High School. It will be sent to you very, very soon. Thank you so much. Now, um, she wins a 750 Rand cash prize, and she will, of course, have the chance to be on St. Worcester and a person, personal acting session with a professional TV and film actress. Now, the Best Actor nominees. The nominees in this category were as follows. Again, I ask you, let's just watch the clip after I've announced the winner, and then the winner can come on stage. 
First, Jin Won Ha from Clifton High School for his portrayal in A Scoop with Death. Man's Best Friend, Duncan Griffiths, Black and White Theatre Company. And then Say Cheese, Peter Kombrink, Paul Boys High. And the winner for Best Actor, Jin Won Ha, A Scoop with Death, Clifton High School. Let's have a look. Rand, and we are excited to announce that Gen 1 wins an acting session with a local stage and television actor to be communicated shortly. Best Actress, the nominees in this category were Muris Operandi, Kalia Jordan, Kalahari High School, On Snap, Annika Furi, Wur Meisie School, Blumhoff, The Making of Mia Latsky, Paul Boys High. And the winner is Unstap Annika Furi, Where Maisie School Blumhoff. Let's have a look. Sometimes it's the slightest action in a close-up that brings your character to life. Remember that for next year, actors. Annika won 750 grand cash prize and she will have the opportunity to meet on set and learn from a popular TV actress. Congratulations. The next prize we felt in 2021 to add is a different category, this other. Something that doesn't quite fit in to normal short forms, documentaries, or anywhere else. And the nominees in this category were as follows. Happiness by Charlie Hoffmeyer at high school, and the making of Paul Boy's Eye. And the winner with a beautiful experience on the form. Happiness, look you bad, Charlie Hoffmeyer at high school. Luke is a grade nine learner from Charlie Hofmeyer. He also entered last year, and uh, he titles this as a video essay. Luke wins a 3,000 Rand cash prize and a meet and greet with a documentary maker. Congratulations, Luke, wherever you are. The next prize, also a new venture um, from last year. We felt this was also something that could be added. Best animation video. The nominees in this category were Arma, Paul Ruiz Gymnasium, Midnight's Nightmare, Alexander Road High School, and Patches, Parle Falay High School. Yeah. <laughs> and the winner is 
Patches, Emma Rose Parker, Pardol for High School. Emma Rose, you guys win a 3,000 Rand cash prize. And all of you will receive a shadowing experience at an animation studio in 2024. I really felt for the little guy. I felt he was felt. Now for the best music video. The nominees in this category were Deep Water from Wooster Gymnasium and Mad at Time from Jan van Riebeek Wurschkool. And the winner is for best music video 2023, Deep Water, David Kutsia, Wooster Gymnasium. They win a 3,000 Rand cash prize and they will have a coaching session with a South African music video maker in 2024. Well done, guys. <laughs> now for the best documentary. The nominees are Alone, Clifton High School and Keys Aren't Just Black and White, Paul Boys High with a story that really touched me. Keys aren't just black and white. Brevet Borman, Paul Boy's eye. Let's have a look.
One thing that always stands out to me over the past three years in the film and competition is the way that young people support each other, wanting to tell each other stories, but also the support from their parents and their teachers. Thank you so much. A round of applause for the parents and teachers. <laughs> Best documentary wins 3,000 Rand cash prize and you will have an experience with a documentary maker in 2024. There is a new category that we brought in this year which is a very lucrative industry, making ads for companies and telling their stories. This is a new category we introduced this year. Our shop talk sessions about advertising at the St. Oosterfeest was presented by Richard Trieter from Bang On Films and showed us that some of the world's greatest filmmakers enjoy the medium of advertising to express themselves in a different creative way. We also know that the fast-paced world of advertising in, is one of the most lucrative filmmaking options in terms of earning capacity. And this year, we asked learners to create an advertisement for Clemenville, our main sponsor for the last three years. We would like to invite Charlene McKenzie to join us on stage to hand over the award for the first time winner of the Filmed Festival Advertising category. Just a word from our sponsor. I'm sure you feel like me that my heart's this big with all the passion and joy in the room and that's why Clemengal is participating um, and has been part of this initiative. Um, there's such talent in this room. Um, it's really super exciting for us. Um, this category, I'm sure you recently with the, with the spring box and the rugby, there were such great ads on, on the TV and on social media and it, it made you feel something. Um, sometimes it didn't even matter what it sold, but it created a feeling and that's what advertising is about. It can be different feelings. It can be wow, it can be sad, it can be aww, cuteness, or, um, but it must touch the heart. Um, and we felt that the winners in this category did just that. When we watched it, we felt that feeling. Um, so thank you for everyone that participated and for us being part of this. Um, this is a worthy initiative. Um, we're very happy with, with the level of talent and the enthusiasm from the organizers and everyone participating. So thank you from us. The nominees in this category for 2023 were Clifton High School and Carlmore High School from the Winelands, close to my home. And the winner is Carlmore High School. Let's have a look at their ad.
Now, Kalmu wins the 3,000 Rand cash prize. And they will have the chance to learn from an advertisement director and producer. Now for a 20 minute crash. <laughs> And now for the moment you've all been waiting for. Um, the climax of the Filmet 2023 gala evening. The single production that ticked the most boxes in all the criteria. The film that was the most effective, most memorable, technically well executed and engaging. This was not an easy decision to make and so many of the short films were of great quality. Thank you so much. You can all be proud. A round of applause to all the young filmmakers. <laughs> now, for this prize, we will um, congratulate the short film and then screen the winning short film at the end of the gala evening. The nominees for the best short film of 2023. A Scoop With Death, Clifton High School. Say Cheese, Paul Boys High. And Social Species, Jan van Diebiek High School. The best short film, 2023. Social species lead with our young from Libya Kai. Thank you so much, Dion. Thank you so much. You guys, we have some producers and actors here in the audience, so maybe, you know, mm -hmm. something. <laughs> well done, Social Species, Jan van Riebeck High School, receives a 3,000 Rand cash prize, and the best film team will also enjoy a site visit to one of SA's top film production houses. We might invite you onto one of their upcoming movie sets. <laughs> Details to follow in 2024. Um, I just want to congratulate you guys on a beautiful film. We hope your experiences with Filmet will inspire you to make more movies, tell more people about it. Louis, I know you came to all the shop talk sessions and uh, you grow every year in your product that you deliver. Um, let's give a round of applause to Social Species. And thank you so much to our cash sponsor, Clement Gold. Well, you can bet on it that we will be back next year, 2024, bigger and better. So thank you for being here tonight and showing your support for everyone who took part in this amazing festival. St. Wister, uh, the soapy, is very, very excited. We're filming in the potential in South Africa. Ons is baie dankbaar for St. Wister, for the geleentede that you for us young actors bid. And um, we will see you to see you on TV in 2025. 24, Mr. Opperman. 2024, yeah, man. 
Thank you also to Eastern Acoustics, our sound and lighting technicians for the evening. Thank you to Morunay Rousseau and his team for filming and recording tonight and live streaming tonight's, li uh, tonight's ceremony. Thank you to all the special guests for being here. Thank you for all the initial entrants, the finalists, the nominees, for showing up here and being here tonight and really enjoying this festival with us. And those of you who are far away that are watching the, uh, in on the live stream, we hope you enjoyed the ceremony with us. Remember, if you don't send in a pitch, you can't be a finalist. So get those ideas going. And remember, you can enter one, more than one idea. Um, once again, Filmit wants to say thank you for our cash prizes sponsor, Clement Gold. Once again, thank you. We're looking forward to next year, really. And um, we also want to thank the professionals in the industry, our tertiary institutions like SAE, and um, everybody who created further learning opportunities for our aspiring filmmakers and animators. Thank you so much. Hopefully, tonight also inspired a few of you to enter in different categories that you didn't know existed. So maybe for the first time, you can maybe next year make an advertisement or a music video or a documentary. So it really branch out. Hopefully this has inspired you, seeing little clips like that, to try out a new, um, a new route for next year. We'd also like to say a special thank you to our supporting sponsors, already mentioned, Orms Direct. You saw them downstairs, please support. And the SAE Institute, as Mr. Oppenman already said. Um, your contribution makes it possible for us to be here. There's absolutely no way that we can do this by ourselves. So thank you for the learning experiences that you have given to all our participants and all our winners. Absolutely. Christmas is coming up, and Orms have got some great deals on refurbished cameras, and get yourself out there and shoot. And if you want some advice, go to SAE. A special thank you to the Homecoming Center for opening your doors to the Film and Festival. We love this venue and coming into the city. This place has got such history. And um, we also want to thank Truly Love Coffee for taking care of our refreshments. And then another big thank you, Ms. Luna Page, who is our production manager. And our absolute amazing marketing manager and our corporate sponsor liaison for this competition. If it was not for her, da, da, da. we couldn't do it. <laughs> no. We no, don't need no. words. We don't need words. But she has been an absolute back, the backbone of this competition for the last couple of years. And we are just incredibly thankful for all the energy and all the passion that you have put into this project. And she's hiding behind the comp computer. But let's all just give her a massive round of applause. We are really looking forward to next year's, um, to everyone that's going to enter, enter next year and for the further growth of this competition. Uh, we also would love to see more schools participate, so if anyone you, of you know, reach out, branch out, we would love more schools to also experience this invaluable opportunity. We would love to see how film and filmmaking grows in South Africa. We'd love to be part of that over the next couple of years. I believe that an institution like Polaris Gymnasium has a responsibility to South Africa to make mm. great initiatives and to grow our young people. Mm. And um, I also want to thank our school for giving us as teachers the opportunity to start something like this. So thank you so much to our school. As a final salute, we will now screen the winning short film for all to enjoy. <laughs> Do make a point. Go check out the YouTube channel. Go learn, do research, go on sites, go to the website www.polruis.co.za slash film it. Enter for next year. Tell your friends, tell your family, tell everybody. And we hope you are inspired to tell the next story. But before the lights dim, all the winners must please not run home after the final, after the credits. Please move out into the foyer where we, where we, where we started this evening. There's going to be, there are going to be more photos in front of the Clement Gold banner. 
Remember, we'd love to give as much exposure to our sponsor that has been so incredibly generous towards us. And also, we'd like to interview you live on live Instagram. So there's a streaming team waiting to talk to you. So please don't run home. Please move down to the foyer. And this is, remember, post Oscars, post Oscars, you go and you have an interview about your winning and so forth. You have to get used to that now. You are a celebrity. There so please go. move along swiftly. Don't run away. You're not allowed to do that. And come enjoy the rest of the evening with us. Ladies and gentlemen, it is very simple, really. If you have a story, just film it. That's all from us. Thank you, Louisa. Thank you to Luna. Have a great evening. And now for Jan van Riebeek, Social Species. Safety of the classroom, the homo pseudocentes are swept away by a complex system of currents. These currents connect the various subhabitats with one another, attempting to challenge the predetermined route of the group has an adverse effect on one's social standing and, by extension, one's chances of survival. And just as quickly as it started, the current does death. 
Pseudo-Sapiens, they are not alone on this journey. A lone pedagog makes its presence known. The pedagog is a peculiar creature, sacrificing any foreseeable wealth and dramatically increasing the risk of hearing loss. To guide the homo pseudo-Sapiens towards successful adulthood. Pseudo-sapiens are 
guests contemplating death, each one deciding whether or not it was successful. They leave the safety of the school. Some do so in groups so that they may fit in a few last moments of socialization. Some will linger for a while and convince supposedly voluntary extracurriculars, all in service of the larger ecosystem. To some, today was a resounding success, for they have navigated the complexities of the social hierarchy without incident. To others, it was a failure to improve them. Here, at this sacred site, lies the final rite of passage for the Homo Pseudo-Sapiens, the end point of their five-year journey, where they must utilize all of the skills they have learned to succeed and complete this task. In an ironic twist, the Homo Pseudo-Sapiens, who have relied on the group for survival, must undertake this final task alone, abandoning the group which had allowed them to survive this transformative ritual. The Homo Pseudo-Sapiens often fail to realize the purpose of this ritual. To them, the pressure to find their place in the group supersedes the demands of the ritual. Failure to find acceptance leads to years of therapy, if they are lucky. Therefore, the Homo Pseudo-Sapiens must balance these opposing forces if they hope to survive. If they are able to complete this difficult task, they may move on towards the wider habitat, where they will once more be swept along by the currents of the group. Unfortunately, the groups that form during this five-year-long ritual do not tend to survive. The Homo Pseudo-Sapiens must begin anew, for new groups help them survive an even more demanding nature of the new habitat. One day they will look back on this ritual and remember their struggles, but also the positive moments with their fellow ritual participants, and they will use the skills learned during this time to play their part in the wider ecosystem. But that day is not today. For now, the sun is setting on today's ritual, only to be repeated again and again and again, with each day bringing new challenges. The Homo Pseudo-Sapiens will overcome them together, united in their shared struggle for acceptance and survival.